Are you overanalyzing your charts? Are you overanalyzing your trading strategy? Now, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about why do you keep overanalyzing your charts? Okay. Some of the signs that you're actually overanalyzing your charts is when you know you keep adding indicators, you know, you take maybe more than five minutes just to analyze one chart, and uh, you're constantly, you know, just looking for the next secret indicator to put into your training system. That is when you know that you are over analyzing. So, in today's video, if you're analyzing, then this video is for you, okay? So, specifically, I'm going to cover three uh, pointers as you can see over here. And the first point I'm going to talk about is uh, what is really the root cause of this? Like, why are you really uh, over analyzing? Okay, and I'll also tell you why you can never analyze enough, right? It's like a um, it's like a pit, it's like a you know, just a never ending cycle right it's you can never analyze finish you can spend 30 hours to analyze the market's going to do whatever it wants to do okay irregardless of how long you analyze okay so a lot of traders feel you know a bit like betrayed because you know they say i work so hard to analyze but the market doesn't uh, go the way i expect it to be but the truth is you know the market can do whatever the hell it wants it, it doesn't have to care about what you think about it Okay, it just moves and we are just participants. Okay, so that's the first pointer that I'll cover. The second pointer is uh, the practical solution, right? What you should do about it because uh, chances are you already know you have this problem, right? And you probably will agree with the root cause of this problem, but uh, you, you want a solution, right? So this video, I don't just want to highlight the problem. I want to give you the solution so that uh, you can fix this problem, okay? Now, the last point I want to talk about is uh, there is something that uh, you should overanalyze, okay? There is something, right? If you want to overanalyze, do not overanalyze your charts. Analyze this one thing instead, okay? So, if you want to know that, make sure you watch it to the end because I will cover that uh, factor last, okay? So, let's go into the first pointer. So, what is really the root cause of the problem? Why are you overanalyzing? Now, if you think about it, uh, the reason why you keep analyzing, you need to keep looking at charts, is because of only one thing, okay? It's because you have the need to know. Okay, I'll just uh, highlight it for you. You need to know, right? You cannot deal with uncertainty. You need to know what's going to happen next, right? You must know that this trade is going to work out. You must know that euro dollar is going to go up. That is why you keep looking at your analysis. You keep looking at charts. You have the inherent need to be in control of the markets when, as I said earlier on, no one has control over the market. Even if you're a big trader, you know, you trade 100 lots, you do not have control over the market, right? So trading is really all about probabilities, right? You are trading the probability, you are not trading certainty, okay? As traders, we are paid, uh, you know, based on our ability to take risks, okay? So if, you know, you need to write this down, write this down, okay? Uh, let me just write it down for you. Okay, so this is our job as traders. Okay, you know, if you have a day job, you know, you are paid based on you know your KPIs or you are paid based on your hours work. For example, if you work eight hours a day, then you get a certain paycheck at the end of the month. Right? As traders, we are not paid by the number of trades we take, we are not paid by the hour, but we are paid based on our ability to handle risk. How good are you in handling risk? How good are you in handling probabilities and uncertainty? The better you are, the better you are as a trader. Okay. So no one really knows where the market will go. So there is no point, you know, keep analyzing, analyzing, and analyzing, right? Okay. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying not to have a trading strategy and just, you know, just anyhow click the button. I'm saying that a trading strategy has its place, right? In the sense that you must have a system that you stick by, right? Day in and day out. But once you execute the trade, you let it go, okay? If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Full stop, right? There is nothing more to be done, okay? So the next uh, pointer, I'll talk to you more about uh, what you should do, okay? But let me just cover uh, this last point, right? Trading is really about risk management, okay? What you need is that you need to have positive expectancy in your trading system. That means for every trade you take, you can expect to make money. That's what you need to do. Not expect to make the money in the sense that that trade uh, has to make money, but in the sense that in the grand scheme of things, based on your trading system, you know that over 100 trades, uh, you have an edge in the market. Okay, it's kind of like a casino, but you rig the game, the casino rig the game, the rules of the game, right? Such that 
they have an edge over you. Okay, you want to do the same thing in trading. You want to have a trading system that puts the edge in your favor so that you know over the long term, right? Long term, not short term. Okay, short term is random. Your results are random. Are we talking about long term? We talk about, you know, 50 trades, 100 trades over a long period of time. Then you can tell if uh, you have positive expectancy or not. Okay, once you know you have that, then you want to just execute your trades without reservation or emotions. Okay, so not to worry if you do not know what positive expectancy is because I'll cover it uh, in the next slide. Okay, in fact, I have a lot of videos about um, this concept. So if you want more info about that, uh, just check out the other videos as well. Okay, now I've addressed the root cause of the issue. I pointed out the problem. Now I want to talk to you about a practical thing that you can do because ultimately you want to solve it, right? So here's what you should be doing. Number one, you should determine if your strategy has a positive expectancy as mentioned earlier, okay? So what's expectancy, okay? You just use this formula, okay? In case you forget this, um, just do a Google search because uh, this is a very common formula, okay? So what you want to do is you want to take your win rate times your average win minus your losing rate times the average loss, okay? If the number is positive, that means that you have a positive expectancy, okay? If your number is negative, that means that you do not have a positive expectancy and it's negative, right? It means every trade you take, you're actually losing money, okay? So what to do if you have a positive expectancy? You want to focus on your execution, okay? Stop adding in random things, you know, additional trend lines, you know, indicator that this guru say, the volume profile, stochastics. No, all this are, it's, it's, it's a noise, okay? It's, it's smokes and mirror, right? In fact, you add this additional thing, it may actually break your strategy because your results were based on those, the strategy that you use with those indicators and those steps in play. If you add something, you are kind of like spoiling the recipe, right? Think of it this way. Let's say you are cooking today, you're at the kitchen and you found a recipe to make the best mushroom soup, okay? The soup is perfect, right? But you decide that, okay, I want to, you know, I want to improve it and there's nothing wrong with trying to improve it, but you need to segment in the sense that you can try but make sure you still stick to your you know so-called winning recipe so you say okay i want to try a new variation of my mushroom soup and you start putting in carrots you start putting in funny things right you're going to break your strategy right because what has worked previously you're spoiling it you're putting in additional ingredients and after that you ask the question oh why am i not consistent as a trader even though my my you know my previous strategy was profitable well, that's, that's simple, right? Because you added additional things into your strategy. And when you add additional things, it may break your strategy. So my advice to you is, if you have a positive expectancy strategy and you want to experiment, put it in a separate account and test it, but still run your core strategy. Meaning you keep your winning strategy, but if you want to tweak, use a separate account. It could be a demo account. It could be an account with smaller funds inside. You want to use that to test so that you can segment your data and you get data which is not, uh, un which is clean in the sense that you know that this strategy resulted in this data and that strategy resulted in that data. You don't want to mix the two data because you cannot pinpoint where, you know, which is the issue if your data is all clumped together. Okay? Now, if you do not have a positive expectancy, which is most people, okay? Now, you want to tweak your strategy. This is when you are allowed to tweak your strategy, where you should tweak your strategy because uh, you don't have a positive expectancy, right? And you want to find out basically what are the issues. Did you mismanage a trade? Did you overtrade, right? Uh, were you too quick to take profits, right? So this is what you want to be doing, right? So how do you do this, right? The answer is actually your trading journal. Right, and that's also the last thing that I want to talk about today, which is the one thing that you should overanalyze. Okay, you can, you know, you can not overanalyze. In fact, you shouldn't overanalyze your charts. As as I said, you shouldn't take more than you know a minute. Let's say you are new, maybe three minutes to analyze one chart. But there's one thing you must overanalyze, and that is your trading journal. Okay, because your trading journal is actual data about what your system is lagging, lacking in a, you know, like lacking. 
So you want to focus on this. You want to stare at your trading journal every single day. You want to find out, okay, what are the weaknesses? What are some things I can try to improve the hit rate? If you realize that your risk to reward is no good, what, can I, what are some rules I can come out to my trading system so that I hold my loss? My, I, I do not hold my losses and I hold my winners. Right? You want to overanalyze this, okay? So I cannot stress this in more, more anymore, okay? I've been always saying you need a trading journal Okay, if you are trading and you're losing money and you are not recording a trading journal, you literally just paid for your tuition, but you didn't take any notes. Okay, it's kind of like going to school, paying for your degree, you get a degree, but uh, you, 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 you don't use your degree in any way, right? You don't use a degree to get, job, to get a job or something and you just sleep at home and do nothing with your life. Okay, do not do that. If you are already paying the market for your three tuition fees, make sure you get this journal and you want to gather data, okay? Gather data about what's working for you, what's not working for you, and then you tweak it accordingly, okay? So to sum up this video, uh, I talk about uh, what, uh, you know, what is the root cause of overanalyzing and why you can never overanalyze enough. Basically, uh, there's no certain certainty, right? So you have to get used to uh, managing risk. So since no one knows, knows what's going to happen in the market. There is no point, you know, spending 10 hours just to analyze a chart, okay? I talked to you about what you should do about it, right? Which is actually to evaluate your trading strategy, whether there's a positive expectancy. And the last thing I talk about is actually using your trading journal and starting your trading journal, you know, day by day, right? Keep starting that, keep analyzing that. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Okay, I have, I have also a free day trading guide. I'll leave a link in the description below. That strategy should get you started, okay? It may or may not work for you, but that's a good starting point, right? You can use that strategy as a start, okay? Use it as a start, collect the data, then tweak it according to your uh, personality, right? And see what works for you. But if you are new and you need somewhere to start, that guy is just perfect for you. Okay, so that's it for this video. If any comments uh, or questions, just leave it in the comment below. I do my best to address it. If not, I'll see you in the next video.